Union. Uh, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. So everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 193. Nasdaq's up 47. S&Ps are off 12 and a half. Gold, gold contracts trading up $20, 2546 an ounce. We have silver up 61 cents, $29.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $69.32 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note, up seven ticks, trading 114.24. The 30 year up 17 ticks at 125.23 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 252 ticks at 101, 105, Euro 111, Yen 143, British pound 131 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call. call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. And the world of the NQs. Let's go to the NQs first. So what we had out here today was pretty interesting, man. I mean, the bottom line is that the market had a chance, you know, to basically get to higher price. You know, the NQs got all the way up to the uh, 19,150 and then just gave it up in spades and came down. Uh, let's see. That's 170. Oh, my God. It came down 170, 270. came down like 300 ticks. Bottom line, makes a low out here at 18,827. Now, if we go to the Qs and we take a look at this. What you have here, to me, this is the building cause for lower price. You're in the same area. Tried to get higher. Couldn't get higher. So what's happening here is that when we had the downdraft that happened on Tuesday, we had volume there of 44 million. We had volume of 26. So you tried to get to a higher high, to, to highs, and you gave it up. This looks to me like a nice ABC structure down. Now it's going to be intriguing. Let's see, 485 and a half. Okay. 457, 67, 77, 87. So you get about 22 points. If I do 22, gets you 43. Four. 43. Remember that number? Oh, man, look at that. So the if it's an ABC, it's 443. The highs of the low is 442. That's what I think we just did here, folks. Okay, so going to be interesting watching this whole thing shake out. We go to the E-mini. E we take a look at the E-mini. Intraday first. So we get in the E-mini e out here. Same type of setup. Gave it up in spades. We got all the way up to the 5557. Then gave it up in spades and went to 54.90. So you're talking 67 points on the way down. Uh, bottom line, you're up, you're down 13 points right now. Uh, but you, you know, my take if we put this sideways again, what you're going to see, not sideways on a daily, what you're going to see up here is that bottom line is that you have the same type of setup. You tried to get higher, couldn't handle it, going to be lower. Now, let's see how this one lines up. This is a smaller one. The S&Ps are definitely stronger than the than the Qs. So that would be 56.69. Different setup here, really, though. I'll do it this way. Let's see. 56.69. Oh, that's still 100 bucks, man. So I take 100 off that. It's 5.457. And the high of the low is five three four five five four five seven. Well, that's another hundred points higher. So that big bar right there, that's that's game, that big bar. We go to the spy and we take a look at the spy. Try to go higher, couldn't handle it. The gap. It's 544. We made it to 547. Looks to me the same type of setup. It's the same type of setup. What The setup in the SPY, however, doesn't bring it down to the highs of the lows. That's the differential here. We get into the gold contract. We look at gold. And what we have with gold is that you're up 19 bucks. You get 143,000 contracts. Now, the bullish part of this is that you're 
back out of the lower range again. Yesterday we went to the lower range as we did on Tuesday. The lower range is a uh, 25.37. So now we're above it again, which is 25.45. We go to the GDX. We take a look at the GDX. GDX is up 60 cents right now. Yeah, I don't like this setup either. So here, yeah, watch this. We go down on Tuesday with 25 million. You're up today on 10. You got to 37.82. You're at 37.51. I expect what you're going to see here. It's going to be now. See, we're, we're fluctuating on the way down today, even with the dollar lower. So, when the dollar goes higher, the market goes out of its mind. Now, what has happened is that we just went from 101.917 to 101.092, and you know we'll see how this shakes out, man. If in fact it, it gets uh, some help to the upside once again. We look at the 10-year, the yield on the 10-year. Right now, we're at 3.723. And that is the high for the meaning higher price, lower yield. That's that's the high for the last three months. Let's see on six months. On six months, it also is. And on a year, same deal. Uh, going back a full year, we're still at the lowest interest rate structure. Uh, the high for the year is 490. The low is today for no three seven three and on um, yeah it's it's a good number man that's pretty amazing actually there's no doubt some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today you have uh nvidia is uh up 98 cents big volume though applied digital is up uh well, that's two dollars what is that so is after 160 million oh that's an ai deal yeah uh from nvidia tesla's up to ten dollars you have uh Frontier, look at that, it's down 351 and you got Verizon buying them. That's pretty wild. Marathon Digital's off a buck. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness here is you have uh, that's Dollar Tree. Yes, yeah, so yeah, Dollar Tree is up uh, 6%. You get Tesla up 4.5. Uh, taking away from it, you got uh, Coke. All right down six and a half you have uh Apple vinegar is off of free stay right there I'll right back folks now that one just is right now down 204 nasdaq is down 14 s&p's s&p's no s&p's down 14 nasdaq up seven. Come right back. 